guys, how's it going? It's Height here, and we are back with a brand new episode of Assembly Crafter. And in the last episode, we unlocked the ability to grow gold. And it was a slow grind, but I have since then upgraded a whole bunch of our factories. We are now at a gold version 3. And any of these resources that are version 3... I don't have, well, you know what? Let me just show you what they look like. I think I can just pull one up here and we can just break it after. Version three, let's just show you what one of these guys looks like. I don't have the version twos anymore because I was getting way too many factories in here. So I've deleted all the version twos. But essentially, this is all a version three looks like of any of them. And I'll come in here and I'll put the factory version 2s in, put them on the outputs. Same thing here, boop, 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 boop. And same thing here, boop, boop, boop. So I have three rows, doot, doot, doot. And then you have to take seven times however many dirt each factory needs. So if I was to make a tier four copper, it would be seven times 3,360, which I don't know what that number is, but it would be a lot. And we'd have to put that in each one of these and that would be a version 4. So the version 3, the version 4, the version 5, I think they're all going to be the same factory with the lower tier version inside of them, which is actually kind of cool. We can scale this up exponentially forever, and we don't really have to change the base design anymore. But yeah, as you can see, we have upgraded this thing a couple times. Now this guy over here, this plot of land is kind of expensive to upgrade. The first one was, I think, 10, then 100, then 1,000. Now it's 10,000. I'm assuming the next one's going to be 100,000. I mean... Yeah, it's 100,000. <laughs> it's 100,000. Okay. But we've got so many of these. We may as well just... Oh, that's as far as we can go. Wow, look at how much room we have. Okay, this is really good. So, I have unlocked the next level. I accidentally clicked on this by accident. So we needed 250 gold. I assure you, we have 250 gold. It's not a problem. I'm also automating large crates now. I think it's something, here we go. Six every 18 seconds. So we're doing one every three seconds, which is pretty good. And these guys, Increase our capacity by a lot. And as you can see here, we are nearing, nearing a million capacity. I think there's actually one more upgraded crate now. Yes. Let's make a bunch of those so I don't have to place so many of the other ones. 13,000 per block. Oh, look at that go. Oh, we're going to be hitting a million here pretty soon. Oh, one more. One more. One million storage. Oh, that is great. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, anyway, moving on. Galactite. That's what we need. We need to make galactite, and I don't know... I don't know what we need to do that. You've unlocked the transmutation table and galactite. The transmutation table is a new crafting table containing recipes to convert resources into other resources. What the heck does that look like, though? Oh, that's probably it. Okay. Takes five of everything. I guess it's just to make sure that we're... Just to make sure that we're making them. Okay, let's just plunk it down here for now. What does this do? Oh! Uh, three wood turns into a copper. Oh, well, this is interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we can do all sorts of stuff with wood now. We don't even need the gardens. Ten dirt turns into five wood just straight up. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. One dirt 
turns into two dirt. Wait. So we could just make infinite resources this way. I might have to start making some new mini factories. We could have one that just prints out dirt forever. A, a bazillion dirt for free. Like in theory, all I would have to do is take a factory, stick one dirt into it, and it could theoretically make whatever I wanted out of it. Oh, that seems kind of cool. I know I'm supposed to be making a transmutation device. We only need 25 of those. Maybe we can do that. Let's let's just do that to unlock the next tier. But while that's happening, I want to see how this works. I, I want to try and make all of the dirt out of one dirt. I don't think it's going to be too hard to do. So the first thing we're going to need is a whole bunch of these guys. Let's start with 50 of them. Oh, no, 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 not the, not the dirt recipes. I mean, a whole bunch of, wait, can I not? Oh, we need extra recipes for these. What the heck are those little black balls? What are those? And where do I make them? Uh, I don't know if we've unlocked those yet. Maybe that's what we're about to do. Okay, so let's level up. You have unlocked self feed collector and another upgrade of the harvester and planter. The selfie collector allows you to make crafters that create items from thin air by feeding the received outputs back into their input? What does that mean? Self-feed collector. I, I'm not, I think what this is saying is if I make a certain amount of materials like, if I make 10 dirt, but I only use 5 dirt, I think what it's saying is I don't have to put 5 more dirt in anymore, but it's only going to put out 5 dirt. I think. So, okay, this should be pretty easy to fix or to try. All I should have to do if I want to try it is get a gold tier 3 platform down. So we'll plunk that down. Oh, I don't have the gold tier two anymore. Oh, I might have I might have made a mistake. I might have made a mistake getting rid of all my factories to, so soon. I should always keep two, but I just didn't have room. Okay, we've got the version two coppers. Let's try it with the copper one. Um, we can try it here. That should work. Okay, so that looks like it's working. Now, we are inputting 3360 dirt and we're outputting 6300 dirt and copper. So if I break this and this, and we make one more of those, whatever these things are, come on, there we go. And I put it here and I put it here. It takes no dirt and just makes dirt and copper. Well, ain't that something. Auto copper. That's what I'm calling this one. Auto copper three, because it's it's the version three. So we shrink this one down. And now this one here just outputs copper. That's all it does. So let's just stick it up here. Yeah, it just works. That is cool. We don't have to put anything in there. Okay, now we need 50 galactite, and I think it's probably time to start automating that stuff. So let's see what the recipe is again. I forget. So 20 gold, 100 iron, and 20, uh, 200 copper. Gold, iron, copper. Okay, we've got factories for each of those already set up. Watch, watch, watch. If I take this... And I stick this down. Iron version three. We make another couple of those galactite guys. And we make a couple more of these. We can just take our version threes. Uh, wait, iron needs, what does it need? 
3360. We're going to take 3360. We're going to put that in there. We're going to stick this on here. And just like that, we are now making 3360 iron for absolutely nothing. Isn't that great? So this will be auto iron version three. Yeah, there we go. And then we just got to do that. We got copper, we got iron. We just got to do that with the gold factory. Same thing. This one takes a lot of dirt. Gold tier three, 17,000 dirt. 17,000 dirt. But then we just stick this guy on here. Whoop, let me close this. We just stick that on there. And bam, we're making 14,000 dirt and 672 gold for nothing. For nothing. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Okay, cool. Let's stick this on here. Gold. Auto gold. Three. Get out of the way. I can't. I can't see. There we go. Oh, no. Auto golds. Duh. Perfect. You know what? I might just clean up all the rest of my factories here while, while I'm here. Clean up all of these so that we don't need inputs and outputs on any of them. Like, what's the point? Uh, you know what? I can do that later. I can do all of that later. So, let's get this started here. We want dirt. We want dirt. We want dirt. We want automated copper we want automated iron and we want automated gold we do not have enough wood or the purple stuff just yet hang on we should have it soon i don't think i have a wood version 3 factory yet so we might have to get that going okay well, let's get the tier three going first, and then we can make it free. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe not. Let's just, let's make the tier two into free, and then we can make a tier three out of that. So, wood, uh, takes 160 dirt. And it's going to output. There we go. So we're making 320 every 15 seconds. Auto wood. This is a version two. And now that we have that, all I should have to do is stick. Wait, how does this work? Because these don't require input. What is this? Auto wood. Why can I change this? Wait a minute. What is this doing? Can I tell it what to put out? Oh my god. I can tell it how many times to run. Okay, I mean, I only want it to run once. But that's very interesting. Anyway, we want to put... Why does it take input again? Oh, it shouldn't take input. That's the problem. We actually don't even need these, do we? No, we don't need any of them. So I can actually increase the wood production even further. Wait, we don't... Wait! <laughs> I don't even need these input belts at all! I don't need any of this. Holy crap! Wait a minute. This is gonna get crazy really fast. We can just start a whole brand new factory. And every second row will be output. This this thing... Th Wait, is this right? No, 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 no. Even better. We can share one line of output between two rows. There we go. Something like this. We're gonna need the output belts though. Two rows of factories, one belt, two rows of factories, one belt. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Oh, that's going to be absolutely perfect. And then we just got to stuff this thing full of wood. Let's just stuff it full. We're going to be making so much wood here right away. <laughs> okay, I just need one more wood factory here. Hang on, one more. 
I believe. We stick it in there. Look at that. We're making 17,000 wood every 15 seconds for nothing. For no input. <laughs> uh, auto wood version 3. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Okay. We'll plunk this up here with our other ones. 15 seconds to make 17,000 wood. This is getting absolutely ridiculous. So let's make that auto gold factory next. And okay, we're going to need three inputs. We're going to need all three of these factories. And we're going to take all the inputs, merge them together. And I guess split the dirt off because I don't really need the dirt. So we'll take the dirt out. Why won't this place? There we go. So we're taking out the dirt. Now all three of those other resources should get merged into some factories. Something like that, I suppose. And then we'll have outputs like that. There we go. We are now making 27 every 50 seconds for $0. I don't think... You know what? There. Now we're not getting any dirt back. Because, like, why do we need all that dirt? I don't think we do, so... And you know what? If I'm not going to take the dirt out... I think we can fit twice as many things in here. I can move this whole thing up one. One second. We'll move this whole thing up one. And then I should be able to make a second row of factories. I, I think there's going to be enough enough resources in there we'll find out here in a second so somewhere in here perhaps this will go to factories factories will be there outputs factories will be there inputs something like this come on yes something just like that will work out nicely and we're gonna need a bunch more factories loop loop detected oh i put this on backwards oops there we go we need four more of those guys one two three four there we go. We are making 32 every 50 seconds, which is pretty good. And what is this stuff? Galactite? Auto Galactite. G Galactite. Sure. Well, there we go. We're making Galactite, and how much does it cost to make? Oh, it's expensive. 281,000 automatoes. Yeah, it's kind of pricey. It's kind of pricey, but we should be able to level up. You've unlocked the trading station. It can be used to trade shrinker machines for star cores. You will find recipes for stardust collectors, gold sieves, and black holes in the advanced crafting table. You'll need all of those to create the black hole needed for the trading station. What? Where is the trading station? Stardust collectors. Collect stardust from the air. This is a zero input crafter and can be used as an input. Okay. I don't really get what this does. I put that down and stick this there. Makes one stardust every five seconds? Okay. Interesting. What else did we unlock here? A trading station. Black hole required. And the black hole takes a star. Hang on. What the heck? I thought we had to trade stuff with the trading station to get the star. But we can't make the station without the star? What the heck's going on here? 
Oh, hang on, hang on. You will find recipes for Stardust Collectors and Golden Sieves. Golden Sieves. Let's stick one of those down. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a Golden Sieve. <laughs> okay, we got the Golden Sieve. I don't think I even need this guy. Whoops, I guess I should break it. There we go. This is what we're looking for. Now, if I stick some Stardust in there... Oh, it's not an auto sieve. Hang on. Is there an auto version? There sure is. Okay, let's try this. And if we stick these, I need a couple more of those. I'm not sure if we can even sieve. Hang on, let's see. Can I sieve st star flowers? Okay. We can sieve them. So now I think what I need to do is try to make a uh, array of these things. And I'm not totally sure how this is going to look. How come I'm not getting any output from this? Oh, because they're only running one time. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. They're only running once. I need 20 of these, I think. So... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, that's not, it's not gonna fit. So if I make four rows of five, that will be 20. And that should be enough to run one auto sieve. Hang on, let's just make a whole bunch of belts. This should be enough to run one auto sieve. I think. There, 20 every five seconds. So we'll shrink that down. Perfect. And once we have that, we're just gonna need a whole bunch of sieves and a whole bunch of these guys. And that's going to make us the star flower. And I'm not sure exactly how this thing is going to work. How long does it take to grow? I don't know. So, oh, I'm going to need a planter in there. Stick the planter in. And let's just test it once. Oh god. It's like molten. Okay, where's my harvesters? We'll put that down. I just want to see how long... We get one star every 30 seconds. What if I run this two times? Three times? Four times? Okay, that doubles it. I wonder what happens if I add in one more row of... Hang on. One more row of these. So, one, two, three... Four. It'll do four without a problem. Can I actually do five? I want to go as far as I can go. Harvester five. Or harvester four. Here we go. Let's make one of those. We're going to need a planter as well. This guy. And... Where did they go? Why don't I see the planter anywhere? Oh, did I make two of the same thing? I think I did. Okay. Planter, stick that down. Okay, now it's doing four. Can we get five? That is the ultimate question. Can we get five without increasing the time? Yes. Okay. Very interesting. 
So if I copy this down like so, whoops, we should be able to get, what is that, 20? 20 every 30 seconds? That seems pretty good. I should be able to plunk that down, increase that to six. Plunk that down, plunk that down, plunk that down, increase that to six, and put that there and increase that to six. And now we're making 24 every 30 seconds. Well, it's not much better. I thought it was going to be a little bit better. We're actually using that one. Why? Why are we even using this? Oh, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. I got to break the belt as well. And I think we could even get rid of a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, and even one more. Wait, if I can squeeze another factory in here, then we'll be close. Let's make one more of those. And one more. Hang on, I gotta get one of these. And then we gotta turn it into one of these. I just gotta squish one more of these factories in here. And come on, set it to six. Okay, we're making 30. So I could probably squish a couple more factories in here, but I don't think I really need to because we're already making one item a second. And if I want more, I can just make a factory in a factory in a factory. And yeah, that's what we do. So this is auto star flower. And we're just going to shrink that guy down. We're making one star flower every 30 seconds or every one second rather. And let's get these machines out of my build menu so they're not taking up space. All right. So now we're making the stars. We should be able to use those to make a black hole, except that's going to take a thousand seconds to make one. So it's probably time to start using those factories in a factory to increase our production a little bit, I think. And since these things don't use any resources, I can just keep plunking them down. <laughs> I can just keep building them whenever I can afford them, plunk them down, and we can keep expanding slowly. And then once I have, uh, I don't even know how many is on here. Two, four, six, eight, nine times, what is that, three, Five. Is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. So once we have 54 factories, we can plunk them in here. And we're already making one per second. So we'll be making 54 per second. <laughs> if I can ever actually afford that. I think the problem is with these factories is they actually take this purple stuff and quite a bit of it and we're not making a lot of that right now. So maybe what we want to do first thing is start auto crafting some of those. And we're also going to need a lot more automatos and a lot more plastic it looks like. So let's get some more of these factories going. All right, so I think what we have to do now is just kind of wait until we have enough resources. I'm still, I still need more automatos. I have to set up my factories to be all self-fulfilling so they don't need this dirt loop anymore and maybe upgrade them a little bit more so that they actually are producing resources fast enough. But it's a start. I might do a lot of that setting up of those things off camera just to get it out of the way and then in the next episode hopefully all these orange belts are gone we shouldn't need them anymore well the output belts will still be there hang on all these green belts will be gone yes 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 all these green belts will be gone hopefully 
because we don't need inputs anymore or hopefully we won't but yeah guys i hope you're liking this series so far we are getting into galactic research now we're about to start with black holes soon that's pretty exciting i don't know once we get black holes it seems like we can just make anything we want from anything we want which yeah seems pretty cool i'm into it i'm totally into it anyway guys if you're liking this series so far, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I will see you 